What's up, everybody? It's your boy Dwayne Retro Gamer is out. I'm coming to you guys with another video. If you guys can't tell, this is the video Batman v Superman. Um, one second. Um, I just got done kicking somebody's ass on Madden. It was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Um, but anyway, I wanted to talk about this trailer. I wanted to talk about, you know, what's going on in this trailer and, 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 all the things that I saw, all of the things that I pointed out, all of the things that I've been excited for since this they announced it. First of all, I don't understand anybody that wasn't excited about this movie. You got two, you got Batman and Superman on the same screen. Live action. So everybody that was like Ben Affleck, Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck is not a bad actor. Number one, first and foremost, he's not a bad actor. The problem with Ben Affleck was when he did Daredevil, it was the director. It was the direction that they were going in with Daredevil at the time. Everybody knows that those Marvel movies back in the day or DC movies back in the day were really bad until their uh, respective franchises got a hold of them. It's kind of like Sony and Spider-Man. I mean, Sony hasn't done extremely horrible with Spider-Man, but... I can imagine that Marvel having their own hands on Spider-Man is going to be phenomenal. So anyway, uh, talking about this trailer, I saw a lot of aspects from the Frank Miller Batman. I saw a lot of aspects from um, a lot of the comic books like in year one. I saw some things that was going on. Um, not necessarily year one because year one was when the year one, that's when um, Commissioner Gordon got first got on the scene. But it was a lot of things that was... You know that I saw and I and I was very impressed by it, number one. Um, this is the uh, older Batman. This is Batman. Looks like he just does not fucking feel like doing this anymore. But he sees this guy coming in, destroying the sister city of Metropolis, which they have pointed out that that will be Gotham City. Um, I think we got a lot of different clips. I mean, you know, there are some things that I hope that they spend a little bit of time on. And I think there are some things that I hope they elaborate on. Number one, I hope they spend a little bit of time on the killing of Bruce Wayne's parents. I mean, how many times we got to go through this? Every Batman movie, we have to talk about the killing of Bruce Wayne's parents. Um, from, you know, Michael Keaton, Batman. Um, then, you know, all that whole situation was the same thing um, with Val Kilmer and, and George Clooney. That was all supposed to be one little series. But then we got um, the um, Christopher Nolan Batman. We had to go through that whole thing again. So I'm just hoping that it's a small bit of it. No, I want them to elaborate on Jesse Eisenberg's as Les, ex, Le, uh, as Lex Luthor with the hair. There has been many interpretations of... Um, Lex Luthor and you know in the comic books or and in a small deal you saw him with hair I've never seen him on the big screen with hair um, I've seen him in the comics. I've seen, like I said, on Smallville. I was a huge 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 fan of Smallville so I can see them, you know trying maybe the you know the kryptonite um Messes up his head, you know messes up his hair. I don't know what they're gonna do with it I saw a lot of things that I noticed from um, The Dark Knight Rises. If you've never seen the cartoon, please go see it. Read the comics. It's amazing. You know, it's the one scene where um, Superman is about to be... Well, I keep doing this like Cyclops. But it's, <laughs> it's the one uh, scene where Superman shoots the, um, the lasers out of his eyes and you see Batman um, just, you know, moving away from it. It was so epic. It was so... Frank Miller, it was so, thank you God that this movie seems to be doing and, and, and going to be on the right path. I, I also, I also, I'm not going to really elaborate on the Suicide Squad, even though I know about this much of the Suicide Squad. I wasn't a huge fan of it, and I don't really want to talk about that, but that it seems like they're going to be, you know, tying into each other when it comes to what's going on. Um, 
You know, you have the one scene where it, you know, on the on the bat suit it says you you did this to yourself or something like that is said. I gotta have to go back and watch the trailer yet again, which I probably watched that thing about thirteen damn times. Is is so amazing. But um it seems like they're going to, you know, make this a cinematic universe, which they have to do. They had to open up like this. They couldn't do individual films. They couldn't do that off back. They had to open up with Hey, this is going to be amazing. I honestly don't think that it was going to be a cinematic universe when they first did The Man of Steel. I think that they used that as an opportunity to do a cinematic universe, if you get my drift. I don't think that that was necessary. I think that, that, that Man of Steel 2 was going to come out. And they said, well, shit, let's just put... Batman in here and let's make it Batman be Superman. It makes more sense because we're trying to do the cinematic universe. There's a scene in the water where, you know, you see somebody swimming down. I want to say that that may have been Aquaman because they say that this is supposed to be everybody in the movie. You know what I'm saying? The main characters. We see a little bit of Wonder Woman, which she looks really good. A lot of people didn't didn't like Wonder Woman at first. I wasn't a huge fan of her. She looks good though. She looks like something that she looks like like a person that I would want to go see in her own movie, in her own thing. Because if you really think about it, uh, the 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 Wonder Woman series, the Wonder Woman movies have never done good. So with this technology and with these new directors, I don't see why these movies can't be good. I'm not necessarily. I'm more. Me personally, I'm more of a DC fan than a Marvel fan. I know that sounds funny, but the DC franchise has always been a lot darker. They've always been a little bit more edgier and darker than the Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe. And Marvel has always been a little bit towards the kids. I mean, if you read some of uh, like the earlier stuff of Batman, you'll see a lot of dark shit going on. And, and they have really... Um, lightened up with Batman. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to... I don't think that in this movie we're going to get a Robin. I know that they're supposed to be doing a standalone Batman movie. And I would love to see the female Robin, if you know your comics, if you know your uh, Dark Knight Rises, you'll know that at this point in time in Bruce's life, there's a female Robin um, that you know, comes in. And I would like to see that. I would love to see what they do. I would love to see if Batgirl... Look, I know I'm speaking way over there. I know I'm speaking way, way out there. But I'm excited. I'm excited because even though we had the Dark Knight series, it was a, it was standalone. It was standalone. There was no way. Well, I think that they could if you you know if they just wanted to. But I was gonna say there was no way that they could implement those three films into what they're doing now. Which I don't still think that they could. You know, it just would be many years later, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Batman has retired. He comes out of retirement. Um, it looks like Batman has retired. Bruce Wayne, you know, the, the epic scene where he's running towards the the um, f um, the chaos and everybody's running from it. You know, that was epic. That was If that didn't make you stand up and just start clapping, I don't know what will. I don't know how to please guys that will not even just say, you know what? This shit looks amazing. This looks absolutely phenomenal and amazing because Zack Snyder is one of those guys that really knows his comic book movies. Now, I wasn't a huge fan of Man of Steel. I've never really seen a Superman movie that was just absolutely Phenomenal. I've never seen one. I've never I've never seen one that was just great. It was just, oh my God, Superman is amazing. I always thought Superman was a character that was he, you know, I always thought that it was kind of hard to do that with Superman anyway, because he is the all-around superhero. He was put he is a superhero. Everybody else had to go out and get bit by spiders, you know, um, I don't know, become become a vigilante at night because his parents got killed and he was scared of bats and shit. You know, all of these people had to go about that. Superman was the only one that was put here that was actually, you know, um, a superhero. So, 
I always thought that that was pretty hard to kind of portray on the big screen because nobody can really mess with Superman like that. You know, we have to get to the point where we start talking about Doomsday. I think that we have to get to that point. You know, these movies need to touch on the big um, 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 villains. You know, you can't keep having Batman movies with Joker in it. I like the Joker, and I love every single niche that they've done with the Joker. I love them all. But how many times is Batman going to kick Joker's ass in the movie? You know, it was great seeing uh, Suicide Squad because we know that Killer Croc is a huge Batman villain. Maybe. I'm just going to throw that out there. But guys, I'm Dwayne Retro Gamer. As I'm about to get back over here to this Xbox One and go in. I hope that, you know, maybe I touched on a few things that you didn't notice. I didn't really, I don't think that I really touched on anything in this video. I'm just showing you how excited I am and how excited you should be if you're any type of fan of, of comic books or anything like that. Guys, go to the movies. Enjoy the movie. Have fun with the movie. That's it. Stop being so judgmental. Just stop because we know that this storyline kind of is a made up storyline in a sense. They're doing a lot of Frank Miller stuff, but they're adding their own twist onto it. That's what the hell movies are for. If you want, if you want the real deal, then you have different variations of the real deal. You got the comic books, you got the cartoon movies, and you got the actual movies. So just go to the movies, enjoy these movies. Thank thank goodness that thank God that we're living in a time where, you know, that, that that we can go to our grave and say, you know what? Man, that was awesome. I really enjoyed these movies. You know, our kids or our the next generation may have something completely different and amazing. But we can at least say this right here started it and it was amazing. So guys, look, I'm out of here. Gotta get ready for work and shit. About to whoop somebody's ass real quick. Peace.